Hi, my name's Andrew Gray and I'm curator of herpetology at the museum. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. And at the museum it's quite unusual because we have some live animals that most of the people don't actually expect to see in the museum. Most of the reasons are obviously geared around enlightening people about this particular group of animals. But behind the scenes, we've also got a couple of direct ways of affecting conservation. And we have got some really key breeding programs that we've actually developed, particularly around two or three different species of frog. And one of them is this species. It's called the Lima leaf frog. Through education and through research, and also, as I say, through the displays, we really try and educate people and hopefully get them to care about these creatures. Now, this little leaf frog, he was actually thought to be almost extinct in Costa Rica and he's now known from only one or two little sites. It's extremely rare and we were given special permission to collect a few tadpoles of this species a few years ago and we managed to breed them for the first time ever in the world and, um, and we actually bred about 400 of these little guys. Now these have been passed on to zoos worldwide. Um, Bristol Zoo have actually got a big collection of these now that we've given them. And so the species is now secure, particularly in captivity, but also in the wild, because one of the ways that we try and affect conservation, we try to help conservation, is to study these animals in the wild. And to, to do that, we have to know a lot about them, we have to know how to keep them properly, but also support the wild population through research. We go out to the areas where these little guys occur, and we actually take samples from them, we monitor the population just to see if it's increasing or if it's decreasing. I'm pleased to say that actually over the last two or three years the population in the wild is actually increasing but it still remains one of the most endangered frogs in the world.